Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to Collection of Re Collection of Reactions. Collection of Madness Reactions. <laughs> Collection of Madness. I am Mike. That is Zivion Ben Marini. And today we are going to be uh, reacting to the 10 most oldest board games by one of my favorite channels on YouTube, No, no Worlds Bard. I can't talk right now, but you should give them a subscribe while you're giving us a subscribe, too. What do we think is going to be on here before we start? Checkers, chess, uh, manhunt. Yeah. That's not a board I don't know. <laughs> tennis table, uh, table tennis. I don't. <laughs> tennis tables. Tennis why, tables. Why are all these tables <laughs> made with tennis rackets? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. How about that? In board gaming. Let's go. Probably exist in a lot of hobbies. The cult of the new, the endless <gasps> endorphin and curiosity fueled chase of the newest releases, eventually collapsing under consumerist exhaustion with a hole in your wallet you could drive a gloom haven through. And indeed, at No Rolls Bard, we're always fascinated by the new releases, but not this week. This time, it's all about the great, <laughs> great grand guilds of the board gaming world. Anything created on zero AD Woo! need not apply. Go For granny. those of you that regard games like mahjong, chess, and Parcheesi as old games, they're all mere toddlers compared to some of these ancient lands. Okay. Right, right there, Older than on chess. my historical hand, Interesting. my smarty pants, and my look not all historians smarty agree in the ancient world is often a guessing <laughs> game at best, best, as I take you back to a land before time, but not a land before fun. I'm Adam what? from No Rolls Bard, and these are the oh, ten yeah. oldest board games. That, that we, we know, know of. of. And also, while you're here, if you do find this video interesting, please Wait, share they had it Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? The no. <laughs> Back then, out, out of a book. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to do was open a book and <laughs> get Wi-Fi. If you haven't already, it really, really, really uh, helps us out. Number give 10, them a subscribe. Ash there, to Chess is an old game. Look here, Sherlock Holmes playing it. That's how you know it's old and smart. Ah, uh, well, it's if he played it. as old as most of these games. Hell, the rules weren't even standardized until the 19th century. Get out of here with that <laughs> baby-ass bulls**t. Chaturanga, the commonly regarded ancestor of chess, cropped up in India in the 7th century. The youngest huh. game on this list, Ashtapada, appeared in India a full millennium earlier than that. A thousand years. That's ages. Ashtapada? You could watch all the MCU twice in that time. But Ashtapada <laughs> is related to chess. See, the name Ashtapada is describing a certain type of board. And That's the board great. describing is what we recognize today as a chess board. An 8x8 hmm. oh. board made up of squares. Gameplay-wise, instead of being like chess, it's more of a cross between backgammon and another ancient Indian game game snakes and ladders roll dice or shells oh. or sticks as it was back then to move pieces around the board working your way to the center whilst avoiding being captured by your opponent's pieces fun oh. fact the game is dated to 600 bce because it's featured on a famous historical document namely a list put together by the lord buddha the founder of buddhism of games oh. that he refused to oh. play including games <laughs> all games and buddha's games just like no, little no this is not for me <laughs> you, okay ashtapa here, the bad boy of the Buddhist gaming scene. Number nine, Nine Men's Morris. A game I want to know how you play it. In European culture, it was mentioned in Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. Take it away, Titania. The Nine Men's Morris is filled up with mud. Thanks, T. What does that even mean? Watch out for the donkey. The traditional Nine Men's Morris board consists of three squares linked together with a series of points. Players put their pieces on these points, move them around the board, and if they form a line of three connected ones, they can remove an opponent's piece from the game. Once one player has only two pieces left they lose pretty simple while it's regarded yeah, as a medieval standard the layouts of morris boards actually appear throughout history carved into cathedral tables depicted in ancient paintings definitely mm. as wow. far back as the roman empire that's word crazy morris doesn't stem from morris dancing it stems from the latin word merilus meaning game piece and in fact something huh. that resembled a morris board okay. was even found carved into the temple of kerner in <laughs> egypt on roofing slabs dated back to almost one and a half <laughs> thousand years bce which predates morris dancing by like three thousand years it was a better world i think the game is a lot dancing. more entertaining number eight <laughs> hounds and jackals yeah. are hounds and jackals the original odd couple this old as balls game is played on a board with 58 holes and i'm not a historian but i think that might That's be why it's also weird. known as 58 holes the rules are shaky but most believe that one player controls five sticks with hounds heads on them their opponent controls the sticks with jackals i've heads never heard of this game before games, it no. appears to be a racing game with players trying to move their pieces around the board's holes what? to get from one end to the other. If that doesn't sound very exciting, then you've just insulted half of the ancient world because from all accounts, this game was crazy popular. The <laughs> wow. monopoly of its day with over 65 different ancient hounds and jackals game boards excavated from archaeological dig sites of ancient That's civilizations crazy. from Persia wow. to Babylon to Anatolia to ancient Egypt. The oldest surviving copy of the game is currently housed. Those things must hurt when they 
and they planned it. The 12th dynasty <laughs> well, yeah, so I was like, wait, began you roughly don't... 1900 BCE, uh -huh. believed to be a favorite pastime of emperors and kings. It's featured in the Ten Commandments movie. And God, look at the size of those pegs. Those are royalty pegs right there. Number seven. <laughs> royalty oh, pegs. Royalty of, pegs. A game of such resounding endurance and quality that's been played continuously mm. for over 4,000 years, apparently. Like any apparently. good abstract game, the rules are simple to learn but hard to master. You have a checkered board. Players take it in turns to put down a stone of their color on one of these cross sections, trying yeah. to lock off areas of the board with lines of their color, netting them points at the I've end. I've seen that in a lot of animes too. Opponent stones, capturing them and netting oh, them yeah, immediately. Yeah. A sprawling, brain-burning cavalcade of options and aggression go absolutely stomps chess to death in terms. Oh of yeah, that was the game in Hunter Hunter that I think they were playing. Uh. The history of Go can be traced throughout Chinese aristocracy huh. for millennia. Mastery of Go was seen as one of the four cultivated arts of Chinese scholar gentlemen, along with calligraphy, painting, and playing the guqin, which looks like this and is rad. <laughs> okay. The like earliest the sound. record yeah. of Go dates back to Drop the fourth century BC. Wow! The most common legend being it was invented by Chinese Emperor Yao, who reigned as far back as 2300 BCE. Goodness. Number six, the royal Oops. game of Ur. If I asked you to Ur. name one of the oldest still playable games in the you world, you want to play a game? Answered, yeah, sure. Uh, what do we want to play? Congratulations, Ur. Uh. The royal game of Ur is named <laughs> Oh, yes, let's play some of that. Was discovered I love that. I make that sound every morning when I get out of bed. Iraq, and was originally <laughs> part of Ur. ancient Mesopotamia, home to one of the earliest civilizations in human history. Unlike most games from this time, we actually know how to play the royal game of Ur as a clay tablet dated back to Babylonia in the second century BCE was used by historian Irvin Finkel, an absolute mad lad, to recreate the game's rules. It's one of the earliest rule books Alrighty, in then. existence. Wow. No pictures, though. Huh. Bad rule book design. Am I right, <laughs> gamers? The game is very similar <laughs> to that. Bad rule book design. Move around this board by that rolling a sided <laughs> dice, entering uh. the board at one end and trying to hop off at the other, all while trying to avoid being captured and sent back to the start by their opponents. Ur game boards have been found all over the Middle East in Iran, <laughs> Syria, Sri Lanka, as far as Crete and Egypt. Bloody love a racing game back then. And speaking of, number five, Mehen. So we mentioned that Mehen. Snakes Mehen. and Ladders is an old game, and it kind of is. <laughs> Known originally as Mehen. These names, oh, man. Of morality, oh, these names. Mehen. Mehen. And slipping down by <laughs> snakes of vice, and it dated back to the second century AD. Yeah. However, it's I just have a mind. I just have a man of vines in the back of my head now. Board game. <laughs> Game called Mehen, the oldest Man. of which are believed Man. to have originated over two and a half millennia earlier than ancient snakes and ladders. It's an ancient Egyptian game named after Mehen, a mythological snake deity, although some game boards are so old, they're believed to predate the first written mention of Mehen, so it's actually possible the god was inspired by the board game, not the other way around. You know, like the god of capitalism is fashioned on rich Uncle Pennyback. <laughs> scenes depicting Mehen being played date back to the fifth dynasty That's of great. Egypt, and evidence of the game dates back to even pre-dynastic years, just shy of three millennia BCE. Old, it is old. The board depicts a serpent coiling inwards from tail to head with segments to hold counters. Historians guess it could be a racing game, but really no one has any clue how to play the thing. It also just looks like <laughs> a big ancient loaf of bread. Number four, backgammon. Oh, you want some bread? It's 3,000 years old. Club video where Here's we some play bread. Snakes. I got a question wrong, claiming that Go was older than backgammon. And while I'll never live it down, I'm also going to maintain that I'm probably still right. Sure, dice have been discovered in Iraq that apparently were used for a game resembling backgammon, and those dice apparently date back 5,000 years. But also, some historians believe 3, those dice could be used to play the royal yeah. game of Ur, which is often You're wrong again, as backgammon's great granddad. <laughs> so shut up, everyone. Leave me alone. Regardless, <laughs> common ancestors of backgammon are ludicrously old. Similar boards, dice, and stones oh, wow. being found in Bronze Age dig sites. So, yeah, fair enough. Some of those Bronze Age dig sites include the ancient city of Shari Sukte, the burnt city. Some legends even ascribe the invention of the game or something similar to ancient Greek warrior Palamedes. And here he is. Nice leaf, mate. 
Number three, checkers. Okay. <laughs> what? How old? Checking out his you say checkers. So. Uh, now, I'm not Leaf. a fan of checkers. It's actually a game that's apparently been solved by Canadian scientists who have created a computer program called Chinook, which you cannot beat. Literally, the best outcome you could hope to achieve against the program is a draw. That sounds fun. But hey, I guess they weren't counting on terrifying <laughs> AI back then. Back then being apparently 5,000 years ago. Checkered board have been found in... Oh, Nick, I get it now. ...a tabletop gaming my kind of town that dates oh, back to 3000 BCE with similar ones also my being found in ancient Egyptian <laughs> with checker style game pieces versions of the game have been described by Plato and Ho I like how they're like let's not let's not figure out some disease or, or you know solving world hunger let's let's solve checkers that's a problem that needs solved <laughs> Homer, the Listen, we have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> checkers. Right we solved it, everyone. It's two, okay. Senate. Checkers has been solved. With my it's past minus 3,000 years old. Like. Stir that ancient <laughs> board game pot. Generally speaking, Senna is widely regarded as the oldest board game in the world. No f***ing knows how to play it. People have guessed <laughs> there's no single rule set. What people tend to agree on is that it's dated back to at least 3,100 BCE, with boards uh -huh. believed to be Senate boards being found in burial chambers stretching as far back as those of the first Egyptian kings. And speaking of royalty, Senate is commonly believed to have been a game of gods and monarchs, almost a spiritual game, with scholars suggesting that the movement of the tall and squat pieces around the board's 30 squares is metaphorical of the journey into the afterlife. Paintings of the game have been found in Third Dynasty tombs. Wow. There's a painting of Queen Nefertari playing it. There's even a reference to it in the ancient Egyptian funerary text, The Book of the Dead. You be careful, Brendan Fraser, or Imhotep's going to school you with Backgammon's Granny, a board game that existed <laughs> in the age of the pyramids. Can you say that about your stupid oh. hobby? No, you can't. Unless your hobby is building pyramids, in which case... Fair enough. Number one, <laughs> Hobby is building so pyramids. This is a yeah. tricky one, not least because despite some companies manufacturing which can be a game in and of itself, title, there's no <laughs> one Mancala game. Think of the word Mancala like the word cards. You play right. cards, but there's no one specific game called cards. It's a family of games played with a single unifying bit of equipment. Same with Mancala games. An ancient African hmm. family of games hmm. played by moving stones around rows of holes or pits. The most popular and commonly depicted Mancala games might be the ones with two rows of six holes, games like Kala or Awari, or four rows of eight holes like Bao or Omweso. But there's hundreds of Mancala games, and some are believed to be very, 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 very old. I mean, it makes sense. It doesn't require a board. Just find some seeds or stones, dig some holes in the earth with your fingers. You've got a Mancala game. And obviously, no trace of those kind of games are going to be left behind. While this is certainly disputed, there are some historians that believe that certain tablets found in present day Jordan with two rolls of six holes were used to play Mancala games. And these stones date back to the Neolithic period, as far back Ooh. as eight thousand years ago to give you an idea of how cult of the new the tabletop industry can be some game is called settlers of Catan, an old game and that came out in 1995 mancala <laughs> listens to those opinions and lets out a single wow, yeah. weary sigh and that's our list. What's the oldest board game you've played? Let us know in the oh. comments below. Oh, there's a lot of <laughs> that fun. Pretty cool. this one. That's like, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Let's join it again. Yeah. Games. Around the internet. I love also, like and playing subscribe board games. To no Rolls so for more as silly content about much as I can learn about them, it's always fun. But... Right. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Huh. It's always interesting and exciting. Did you have a favorite? Uh, uh, not particularly. No, I don't think so. I just thought they were interesting. I didn't know that about some of those things. I, I didn't know someone solved checkers. <laughs> like I, I just listen here, Jenkins. <laughs> we solved checkers. I just didn't realize ah. that was a thing. <laughs> we solved we didn't checkers. Solve world hunger. That's but we solved checkers. List. <laughs> We, we solve got... checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing this? Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. This is uh, the collection of madness going on. Well, oh, if you guys man. enjoyed that video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel because every time that you subscribe and like, you help us, and that can help us help you with more great content. Check out all the top 10 videos, the pun runs, and all the other react pun videos that we're going to have coming up. The pun runs are oh, really yeah. good. They're Check them out enough. if you haven't already. Subscribe! Woo! <laughs>